Hello YouTube, this is CyberNight610. This is another cool video idea I came up with. A lot of people ask me uh, how I organize my Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so I thought I'd kind of show you guys. I also have an article about this that will be in the description, so check that out. I wrote a pretty long article about it, and it's worth the read. First off, here's all the comments I have. I always just like getting a box for comments. This kind of shows you how many comments and all I have. These are usually, um, like I wrote in the article, these are like older comments and stuff like that. Because uh, newer ones, you know, most of the time I buy booster boxes for. So, I keep them in their booster box. That also kind of tells me what set each card's from. And so if someone needs like a comment from Crimson Crisis, I can just go in and find it. So that comes in handy as well. And also for certain booster boxes you can't use, like this is my gold series. Uh, let's see, Gold Series 3, I think? I don't know. Yeah, I think it was Gold Series 3 was my box opening anyway. Uh, since this tin was kind of goldish, I put them all in here. So yeah, I can't really open it with one hand since I'm holding the camera. I'll show you guys a little better. Also, you know, since I didn't get a Stardust Overdrive box, I used just the Majestic Star tin, because that's still, since he was on the cover, comes in handy. So yeah. Also, you guys know of my binders like that. And that's where you put your your cards that you trade. You always want to have a binder for the cards that you trade and all for Yu-Gi-Oh events and stuff. Also, here I put the cards that I'm trading to people online. That way I keep them separated from the others. So yeah, I'm not going to really open that either. Here's where I put staples and stuff of certain cards. Cards that will come in handy. Let's see if I can open this. Yay, it came off easy. You know, just kind of put your average, you know, staples and stuff in this. That, or cards that might come in handy in the future and stuff. That's kind of a, a little tip for you guys. You might want to do something like that because it really comes in handy. And this thing has been the most handy thing that I've gotten for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Right here. I put pretty much all of my trading games though and stuff like, for example, cards that aren't Yu-Gi-Oh... Dungeon Dice, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh decks, I have all kinds, uh, let's see, sleeves, card sleeves and tokens, I'm a really organized person too, Warrior Binder, uh, just my collections, and stuff like that, old Konami cards, and let's see, Bakugan, I believe, yeah these two are Bakugan. So yeah, it comes in handy to be really organized with things. Your cards will stay in better condition, of course, and it's a lot easier to find certain things. So yeah, this is just how I kind of organize everything. I'm a really organized person, so your the way you organize your stuff might not be as crazy as mine. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys uh, organize your cards in a different way, or you have some kind of cool idea or whatever, please make a video of it and show it in a video response. I'd like to see how you organize your cards, and uh, be sure to read my article. It has some good pointers on how to organize, and that way, you know, your cards will stay in better condition, and it's easier to find them as well. Alright, and I think that's everything. Please subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Alright, bye YouTube.